Hey there, Laurie here. Welcome to Yoga Blast. The today's class I have is centered around grounding and centering. So it is super easy to get overwhelmed, feel scattered, and just bombarded with information, sensory overload, just things coming at you all the time. And you're not quite sure what to focus on because there's just so much and I know I get like this sometimes and I just taking these moments out of the day just to maybe sit and reground reroute just feeling that um, support that's there the connection it is so helpful to just give your brain a rest release anxiety, fear, stress, and then you can be clearer and be more free to make choices rather than to react to a situation that um, presents itself. So let's start by taking a comfortable seat and we'll take a few breaths to ground and center. So first, practicing being the observer as you bring your focus gradually into your world, into your body, into your mind, just take a few breaths to notice what there is to notice. So beginning this way, being the observer without judging what is happening, what you're experiencing is just a way to neutralize the situation. It's all perfect. So just notice any sights, any sounds, any aromas, any feelings, thoughts. And notice them with a curiosity rather than a judgment. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Breath by breath. Thoughts that are going through your head, feelings that are coming up, sensations in the body. Just, okay. And now as you take a deep breath in through the nose, Allow that to come in through your heart, through your core, through your root, and all the way down, beginning to grow roots. Feel those, see those roots going into the earth. Exhale, press the breath out, bring up some nutrients. Inhale down again. Roots are growing stronger, longer, wider. Exhale, bring in some more energy, bring some more nutrients up. Inhaling down, again with each breath, the, your roots are growing more and more, getting stronger, getting more connected, so you feel more supported. Exhale, fill your whole being. You can even wiggle around a bit, just really emphasizing that sensation of groundedness, that support through whatever is coming into contact with the earth currently. And with every exhalation, you're filling the body, filling your mind, and clearing out, making room for all this amazing support and energy to come in. So you're pressing out as you're filling up. And the breath is getting a little longer, a little smoother, a little deeper as you press it out again. So coming into the heart space, 
and just plant that intention to be grounded, to be centered. And the affirmation, I am grounded, I am centered, I am clear. And one more breath for some gratitude. And let's start by bringing some movement into this. So switch the cross of your legs and begin just inhale and exhale just a few times, bringing the heart up as you inhale. Hands can be on your knees. So we'll warm the body up and then really pressing into the earth and drawing that energy up. Draw your back rounded as you come back. Beautiful. One more. And exhale. So let's spin this over to all fours and move this around in a few sun salutations, core strength vinyasa style. Inhale here. Let out an exhale, <sighs> lion's breath. A few petals as you come up on the alternating balls of the feet. <sighs> Shoulders up, back and around, neutral alignment. Beautiful. You know, bend your arms, bend your legs, and get a wave coming from the balls of your feet from your all the way through your legs <sighs> and wave out to a plank. Little bend brings you back into a down dog. Let's take this again, <sighs> into a plank. Tap those knees down, leave the belly lifted, shoulders up, <sighs> see the cobra or a sphinx. Find your way back to a down dog. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, lion's breath. <sighs> really press down, ground down through your hands, through your feet, each fingertips, all your toes and Next inhalation takes the right leg up, knee in toward the chest and back up, knee in toward the chest. Your left knee can be down for this too. Bring it in one more time, back up and one more time. Step the right foot toward the right thumb, wave your spine out and bend into that back leg, press down, really root down and rise on up. Exhale, bend, and then extend. Arms come up. Exhale, fist the fire down. Inhale, exhale. And being mindful of your alignment. Knee stays in line with the toes and doesn't go past the heel. One more. Bend and then extend through that back leg. Exhale, lion's breath. Plant those hands down really strong. Right leg comes back up, shake it out. Bend your arms, bend your legs, the left leg's coming up now. Bring your knee in towards your chest and back up. Little bend in the arms as you come up to that core plank. Exhale, bring the knee up, or the whole leg. One more, exhale, step the left foot toward the left thumb, bend that back leg, make some space with a nice wave. Bend your back leg again and press down to lift up. Exhale into your lunge and your arms reach over your head, extend and then bend up and down. Use your breath. One more. Elongate through that back leg. Arms can come up. Exhale, release something. Strong fingertips down. Left leg comes back up to downward dog split. And back to downward dog. Give it an inhale. Lioness breath. Bend your arms, bend your legs, wave to your plank. Tap those knees down lower. And maybe you're ready for an up dog or just a higher cobra. Maybe a pointed plank. Back to your down dog. Bend your arms, bend your legs and Nice little hop up to just under your hips with your feet. Wave along here, make some space, and then really press down through your feet. 
and take your booty back all the way up. Exhale. Take it up again. And this time we're going to come down to a chair. A twist to the right, back to center, a twist to the left. Both feet are really firmly down, back to center. One more left, center. Take it up again and back to your forward fold. A little step or hop back. There we go. Wave to your plank. Tap your knees down, leave your lower belly lifted and lower. Find your way back to your down dog. Give it an inhale. Exhale, lion's breath. Way back to plank. This time, take your right foot toward your right hand and back. Left foot toward left hand, back. So alternate a few times back and forth. Left comes up, then right, and back to plank. Next time your right foot comes up, take your right arm and twist. Back, left foot comes up, left arm comes up, right arm's under your shoulder. Go, left arm under my shoulder, right arm up, and back to plank. Over. Next time you come to the right, give it a twist first, then step out the left hand a little bit wider, maybe even off your mat. Do a few little push-ups here. Leave that core hug and lifted. <clears throat> and breathe, one more. Left hand comes back on the mat, right foot goes back, and then left foot comes up. Give it a nice twist, left arm comes up, and then back down. Right arm's gonna come out a bit wider and a few little, you can just be little baby bends or a little more. And exhale. <clears throat> One more. Bring that right arm back in line. Left leg comes back and give it a nice down dog. Inhale, exhale. Let's take that move through. Nothing else so to a plank, tap the knees down. Shoulders stay lifted. And cobra or press into the earth a little more so your thighs can just hover over the earth to an up dog. Roll over your toes, back to your down dog. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Nice hop toward the center of your mat or step up. Wave your spine long, take your booty back. Again, feel those roots growing, grounding as you press down in order to lift up, supported. Inhale all the way up. Nice. So we're gonna come toward the center of the mat and just take a moment in a mountain pose. So a, a really powerful grounding tool to come to. So um, feet are about hip length apart, hip width apart and feeling that rooted, grounded feeling through the feet. Draw the energy all the way up. Lift from the heart, shoulders are relaxed. Crown of the head's lifting, so super powerful grounding. You are an amazing, an amazing mountain. Beautiful, so just come back to that grounded center I am clear. And now we're gonna be grounded center and punching and kicking. So um, my usual disclaimer and reminder of not to lock out your punches and kick kicks. And if you're practicing with someone else, please don't hit each other. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we're just gonna start with some cross punches. Just a little, we're still warming up. So alternating right and left, you can spin on the opposite foot. So again, hug and lift it. I'm still rounding down through my feet that are coming to contact and feeling that coming up and blasting out the alternating punches. Beautiful. Let's 
start to step a little bigger, becoming more of a twist. And there you go. Get a little rhythm going. Next time we come over to the right, double punch and left double punch. So exhale, 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 exhale. And also a reminder, as your heart rate starts to get up, please switch up your breathing and breathe through your mouth, get some more oxygen in. And those exhales are super helpful through your mouth as well. Really firing up, coming from your core. So do one more each side. There you go. And throw in a little blocks. So left knee is going to come up and arms come in as the knee comes in and down. So exhale, squeeze, hug and lift. And really super grounded through that right foot, through the whole right side. The knee spacing the same way as your toes. Again, if you feel pressure on your knee, it's probably because your leg's a little off in alignment. So exhale, exhale, and it'll speed it up for eight more for you. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Come back to center now in a goddess temple squat. A few punches here. And let's change these to some uppercuts. So just coming, circling up and under, about chin height. You can squat down low. As long as it's safe for you. Let's speed it up for a few. Awesome. Really revving it up. Super, superhuman power. <laughs> Back to the other side on the left now for the blocks. So your right knee's coming up, but you're facing toward the left. And exhale, knee comes up, hands come down. Exhale, exhale. Bring the knee in, hands come down. You can pretend something that you want to get rid of is there, and you're smashing it out of existence. We're changing it. So switch up that energy. Again, come down through that left foot, through the left leg, all the way down through your foot into the earth. Exhale. Exhale, and we're gonna speed this up for a few. Again, just a little bit faster for you. Six, five, four, three, Two, yeah. Give it an inhale, come back to a temple. <sighs> Kali, nice. Take it up again and <sighs> back up to the top of your mat. We're gonna move some of this awesome energy around and take it down, forward fold. Weave your spine long, strong palms, strong fingertips. Pop it back to your down dog. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Wait to your plank. <laughs> Tap your knees down, lower. And if you need to rest in a child's, go ahead or take a few breaths in your down dog to reconnect. Hmm. Reestablish some roots coming down from your heart, down through your chest, through your shoulders, through your arms if you're in down dog hands, each fingertip. Now rooting, growing down and then down from your heart through your core and hips and legs into your feet. And settle for a breath or two here. So one more. Bend your arms, bend your legs, extend your right leg up. Bring it in towards your chest. Bring it back up. Bring it towards your right shoulder. Bring it back up and in 
towards your left elbow. Back up, left knee can come down for this too. Left, right shoulder, center, up, and left elbow, up. This time back to the center, exhale, come up really high so you can step that right foot toward the left, right thumb. Bring your spine long and spin it around your left shoulder. A few ninja lunges here as you wiggle out. Again, press down through your feet. Take your sitting bones back. You'll get the pressure off of your knees. And as you lunge it out here, it can be in the hands can be in the air, on the floor, or on your legs. And back to center. Booty comes back. Press down to take yourself up <sighs> into goddess. Hop your legs toward one another. Hop them back out. Take them in. Take them out. You can step this back and forth too. But if you're hopping today, hop in, hop out. If you're stepping, out to each side. So either way, you can mix it up. You can do both. Just whatever you do, make sure you're in safe alignment. One more. Take it back up. And take a breath here. We are going to take the right leg and extend. So before, again, we do that, grow down, grow strong rooted and supported and take that stability up into you. So engaged core, knee and heels coming up at the same plane, at the same time. A little crunch in here if you want a little extra boost. Might as well get this side muscles, the obliques working as well. So again, be here, be now. What is your body doing? What is your left arm doing? What is your right arm doing? Are they just there? Make a choice. Take a stance. Be strong, be fierce, but soften where you can soften. And let's increase the speed here. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it up and over to the other side. So establishing that base, that ground, that support in the right leg. As you press down, lift up. Left leg's coming up. Lick the left foot. Exhale, exhale. A little bend. You are amazing. Here we go. Let's do increase the speed again for you. So count it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it up it out, hop it in, or step it out, step it in. So either way, depending on where you are, one more, take it up, and we're going to come to a warrior with the left foot facing the back, and spin it around. Take that left foot back, tap your knees down, lower. Give it an inhale up to an up dog. And find your way back to your down dog. Inhale, exhale, fierce roar. One more. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Left leg's coming up. And into your chest, into your, toward your nose. Bend out to your left shoulder, 
back up, this time towards your right elbow, back up, toward the left shoulder, back up, center, down dog split, exhale, over to the right elbow, back up, this time back in toward the center, come up really high, exhale, step the left foot toward the left thumb, roll your spine long, and roll over your right shoulder. If you want to take your arms behind you and give it a little shoulder squeeze here, clasp your hands behind and wave out. Exhale. Take your booty back, come back to center, squeeze out your shoulders a little bit more, and then hands come down. Wave your spine long, bend into your legs, booty goes back, and take it up. And this time, we're gonna take your knees up, side to side. So this time, just knees are coming with your feet underneath. So, kind of like your block. And if you got that, see if you can throw some punches in there. It's fun. Maybe. How about throw a squat in there for a little more fun? And let a squat come in. There you go. And you always have the choice to eliminate the punches, eliminate the squat, or eliminate the leg lift. And one more right, one more left. Give it a big inhale. Exhale to a collie. Awesome. Hop it back in toward the center. And this time your right leg's gonna come out again and back to the knee lift with your foot coming up in the same plane. Take this into a side kick. So wherever up is for you, it could be this angle, it could be a higher angle, or again, wherever your hip allows. Knee and foot come up first, and then kick through your heel. The weight on your left leg is rooted whew, down and then draw it up so you're stable, you're supported. We're here, we're focused. Exhale, so take a little scan of what's going on. What needs attention? And one more at this tempo, and then we're gonna fire it up for eight. So quicker for you for eight. Ready? There. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yeah. Shake it out, wiggle it out, dance it out, and take it to the other side. So rooting down through the right leg, through the foot, into the earth. Knees facing your toes, left leg's gonna come up from your hip, knee and foot come up, and then extend. Knee comes up, foot comes up, extend. You can be creative with your arms. Whatever works for you. And just bringing awareness in to whatever you're doing. Whew. Exhale. Again, adjusting the height according to what you need. Now test those boundaries that you think are there. Maybe you can go a little higher. Maybe not. Either way is fine. But give it a try. And then one more at this pace. Let's see if you can fire it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, squeeze, one. Awesome job, take it up. 
and to warrior two on the other side, right leg's coming forward, left leg's back, take it back, exalted, and let's move some of this awesome energy back through vinyasa, so tap those knees down, and lower, up dog, again, pause in child, if you choose, or Take your break in your down dog as you settle your breath. Root down, ground down. I am grounded. I am centered. I am clear in the present. Nice, one more breath here. And let's wave this through to a plank. Beautiful. And tap your right knee down. Tap your left knee down. Tap your right down. Tap your left knee. That belly lifted. Squeeze. Right knee, left knee. Both knees. And up. Both knees. Right knee. Left knee. Take it back to your down dog. Bend your arms around your legs. And hop toward the center of your mat. Inhale it up. And take it down again, wave your spine long. Beautiful, plant your hands down and pop it back to a down dog. And we're gonna come to a squat. Sorry, my hair was in my, <laughs> my eye. And pause here. I'm gonna turn toward the front. So a little wide squat here just for a breath. <sighs> nice. Elbows can be pressing against your knees. If, your feet, if your heels don't come all the way down, you can put a blanket there to help release. <sighs> and then bring your hands down and come to kneeling. So we're gonna do step up on your right foot, step up on your left, back down. So alternating, right? Left, right, left. These are called surrenders for a reason. Whew. Right leg down, right knee down. If you need padding under your knees, go ahead and put a little more. So exhale, exhale. Right knee, left knee, then right foot presses up and takes you up. One more, down, pause. We're gonna switch it. So left foot, left, right foot. Then left knee, right knee. Left, right, left, right. Left foot, right foot. Left knee, right knee. I feel like a Dr. Seuss book. Left foot, right foot. Feet, feet, feet. <sighs> do whatever you need to do with your arms. They could be in prayer. Maybe you're praying for this to be done. <laughs> or surrender to it, become what the move is called. So you're just be with what you're doing right now. Press into the earth, draw up, use that power. One more and back down. You are awesome. Take it up and back over. If you switch your angle, come, just come back to the long edge into a down dog and move it through a vinyasa. Back to a plank and hold the plank for a breath. And just a few little pulsey push-ups here. You can drop your knees, keep your elbows facing back. Leave your belly lifted, engaged, beautiful. And back up to your down dog, bend your arms and your legs, hop up toward the front and come on up. So you're gonna take a front right kick and a back left. Front right, back left. So right knee's coming up and then kicking, back knee and then extend. Keep your feet in line with your hips. There you go. You can lean a little bit in the opposite direction that you're kicking. Feel 
little rhythm going. <clears throat> Maybe you can quicken the pace. And next time you front kick, we'll give it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, bring it up. And we're gonna switch left front kick, back right, left front, back right. Exhale, exhale as you bring that knee up and kick. Right knee, leg comes back and kick. If you want to challenge your balance a little bit, look over your right shoulder to see where that right foot's kicking. Bring in that focus, bring in the direction. Three more. Last one. And then hold that front kick for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yes. Inhale it up, wave it down. Find some space in your spine. So we're gonna take the heart rate down. Now you are amazing, rocked it. Take it through a vinyasa. And just take a few, a few until your heart rate's down. And then start bringing even the movement with your vinyasa down as your heart rate comes down. So make your moves smaller as your heart rate drops. And feel free just to wiggle it around the way you need to. And until your heart rate is soft enough and quiet enough to come into a wonderful child. So spread your knees a little bit to allow your body to really snuggle in. Bring some support in if you need a blanket, a brick, anything underneath your hands can serve as support, maybe along your third eye, or hands can be behind. And just allow your breath to settle even more, reminding yourself to relax a little more physically Beautiful. Observe without judgment. I am grounded. I am, I am centered. I am clear. One more breath. And then bring yourself up. Hmm. Wonderful. And we can add I am sweaty <laughs> into that. So let's just... Take a few little moments to open here. So bringing your feet together in a cobbler's pose and clap your knees up and down. Just a little bit of range of motion here. Slow, you can do it quickly, anything that works. Again, this is all about you. Wiggle it, ground down. Exhale, grow those roots. Feel that support. And that's what allows you to, again, be clear, be here in the moment. You're connected. And then you can be that butterfly and take flight. So, yeah. But it's just limiting, decreasing those number of stimuli that are coming in. And just refocus refocus so ground 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 beautiful wave this forward a bit your hands can come behind fingertips facing out behind you and take that heart up so again you're rounded and lifting and supporting so it's not crunching the lower vertebrae but you're expanding and making space so the difference yeah 
and bringing the knees in now, coming up to the top of your mat and a few rolls. And then a nice wonderful hug all the way down, reclined on your mat. And take a breath. Feel your back body rooting into the earth now. And pause here for a breath or two. Feet can come down and connect even more. And I love to give a little bit of individual play time during a class so that collective but individual spirit and energy that flows. So just take this time to plug in to your guidance and see where your body needs to move. Don't worry about if it's a yoga move, don't worry about if I'm doing it right, what does it look like? Just how does it feel? What do you need right now? So press, press pause for a few moments and then join me back when you are ready. So beautiful. As you're ready again, bring your legs in for a hug. You got the rest of the wiggles out. <laughs> Take your arms out to the side. Feet come back onto the floor. Cross your right leg over your left. And a nice spinal twist here as you scoot onto your left hip a little bit more. And let your knees fall over to the left. Kitties are very active right now. <laughs> come on, you two. And your head can go over to the right shoulder. And take it back up and realign, uncross, windshield wiper a few times, and then cross your left leg over your right. And take your hips over. Come on, Ollie. Your head can look over your left shoulder. Take a few breaths there. When you're ready, uncrossing. Okay, bring your knees in. I think we're okay now. They have their moments too. So just take your feet down and a little wider than hip width and windshield wiper reset. Bring them back to center. Extend one leg, extend the other. Give an inhale and exhale, melt into the earth. Inhale again, exhale. So give yourself a few breaths here just to let the body cool. Let the body reform, let your mind reprogram all the way down to each cell as you breathe deeply, more deeply, relax a little bit more with each breath, surrender a little bit more into the support of the earth. Soften, let go. Feel each exhalation bringing you down deeper into the earth. Feel and see and even hear those roots growing, taking more and more strength. Power that 
the earth is sharing with you, drawing it up, filling your body. And again, pause here for and linger as long as you can, as long as is right for you. And then join me again when you're ready. So deepen your breath. Start wiggling fingers and toes, bringing calm, peaceful, grounded vitality, strength, and power back into the body. <clears throat> Rolling over to one side before coming up to a comfortable seat. <sighs> and just take a few breaths to again reground, refocus, recenter through your heart through your core, through your root. Bring that breath in and down, rooted, grounded, centered and cleared. Exhale, hug and lift. Bring that power, that support, and fill in the rest of the spaces in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. So, Take little breaks throughout your day to do this. Go outside, walk barefoot, anything just to feel that earth, feel the support. You can just sit wherever you are and remind yourself. Imagine it and give yourself a few moments just to instill that calmness, give your brain a rest, release anxiety, fear, and stress. Be more centered and clear so you can wait. Calm, guided choices. So thank you for joining me. We'll take one more breath to express some gratitude. Thank you again. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste.